everyone. I wanted to uh, kind of show you guys the newest guitar I bought. It's a Guild 412. Um, it's a 12 string with a maple back and sides and um, beautiful guitar. Nice string spacing if you want to do a little finger picking but perfect for um, strumming also. Great tone. I really like the maple versus there's a model 512 which has rosewood back and sides and they say rosewood's a little warmer and I do believe that but personally I kind of prefer the maple maybe it's my ears getting old so um, I want to do this Queen song that I've loved ever since uh, their live album came out Live Killers many years ago and um, I want to get down to the nuts and bolts of it um, I I've taken this from uh, a version on Montreal 1981 where Freddie and, and uh, Brian did this song so if you look up YouTube I'll, I'll probably even put a link to it in the video um, you can see how he played this um, he does it there's some different ways of, of, of cording and he even gives a lesson on part of it if you look it up online Brian May teaching love of my life and I got most of it from how Brian plays I've looked up tabs I looked up another lesson and um, some of the cording they do is a little bit different from Brian's, so I want to kind of stay true to what Brian did. So uh, we'll get down to it here for the intro, and uh, we'll take it a section at a time because this will probably take a little bit. As with most finger picking videos, it's, it's hard to show both. So I'll speak to what strings I'm plucking and what uh, I'm strumming. So to start out with, we're going to do a D, and I'm doing, you can do it this way if you like, but I found it easier to bar across the first uh, three strings and then put my middle finger here because we're going to lift that finger up. So we're strumming a D from the fourth string down and then we're going to pluck the second string. We pluck it at the second fret and then put it back down. So we have this. And then we're going to hit the first string. Okay. Then he hits a bass note, which is your C sharp, okay? Then we're going to go into a B minor, and we're going to strum through it and lift our uh, middle finger again, just like we did at the D. Then we're going to hit the B uh, bass note and go into an E minor. Okay, now you want to, after you strum through the E minor, you want to pluck the second, then first, and then when you come back to the second, you're going to add your small finger on the third fret of the second string. So you have this. Okay. Then you're going to strum an A. Then hit the pedal note, the open fifth string, and pluck the third and uh, fret of the second string and fourth fret of the fourth string together. So you have this. And you're going to move that up to five on both the second and fourth string after the pedal note. So again, and slide it back to the second fret and pluck. The second half I consider of the intro is going to be very similar to the first. We're going to start out with the D and the notes. Now this time instead of hitting the plucking the B note we're going to move to an A so we hit an open fifth string and what Brian does is he he's playing a, a G sixth and he's using his thumb and open E string the E is the sixth in a G chord if you add an E to it that's a G six but in this case we can because of a G we can leave that E open in the first string and he uses his thumb. I, I can't get my thumb over there. So the way I figured out best to do this for me is to use my first finger on the sixth fret. And I'm only going to be plucking the uh, first, second, and third strings. So I put my ring finger on the third string at the fourth fret and my middle finger on the second string at the third fret. So I'm going to pluck six, three, and then open one to two. 
So you have this. Then we're going to move that down to F sharp over D. And to do that easily, you're just switching these fingers around. You're going from um, 4 and 3 to 2 and 3. And we're going to move this bass note down to an F sharp. So again, and it's the same plucking pattern. 6, 3, 1, 2, 6, 1. Okay. 6, 3, 1, 2, 6, 3, 1, 2. So that, you'll do this in a couple spots of the song. So it's important to get that down. Then he moves to this. E. Then we're going to take this form and move from the first fret on the third string to the second fret. And we're going to catch the fourth string at the fourth fret and kind of mute that fifth string. So you do it. And I'm hitting the bass note between. Move that up a step to 4 and 6, and then all the way up to an E, if you will, at the um, 7 and 9, and we're going to upstrum that. So the last one, I don't hit the pedal note. I just upstrum. So I kind of... That should help you with that part. I'll do the verse at speed and then we'll slow it down and do a close up. is we're playing an A, we strum through it, and we're taking the third string and moving it back to the first fret and back to the second fret, and then hitting the open first E. So we actually have this melody. Okay, but we're playing an A, so it's a little difficult, and the way I play my A is this way, and it enables me to move back. Then we're going to hit this kind of a stretch, but you got to hit a G sharp note, because you're going to an F, mi F sharp minor, and you're going to pluck six, four, three, four, two, four. So you're plucking the six, four, three, four, two, four. Okay. So it should sound like this slowly. to what I consider the second half of the verse and for this we're going to do an A again but rather the third string we're going to lift up the second string and play it open and then back down and add our pinky onto the third fret of the first string so it should sound like this. What we do is strum through the A, pick up the second string, hit that open, hit the third string at the second fret and then come back down and we'll bring our pinky down at the same time and strike those together. So it should sound like this. Again. Then we lift the pinky up and then D twice. Next part, we go through a B, strum through it and then pluck the second third string to an F sharp minor then all we're going to do is hit the third string okay and then we're going to do this all right so the melody we're playing there would be this okay that what Brian does live is he's using the G7 
he's using the G6 and he moves his first finger back and to D twice, okay? So what I'm doing for ease, I found it easier to play it this way from going from the F sharp. It's, it's really a B minor part of it, so I'm playing the second uh, string, third fret to lifting up that pinky again, lifting up that middle finger again, and catching the third string at the fourth fret, and then I move to that G6. Then I just do an inversion of D, which is your fourth fret, uh, fourth string, second fret, third string, and um, second string, third fret, to D. But what Brian does is this. He just plays D twice. But again, this works for me. All right, then the next chords are G, D, B minor, all right, and then E. And then we're doing our same E to the E7. Our A with an A7th and D. We only play the D once, and he does something a little different after that. It's kind of a walk up. And we're going to pedal with the open D string. Um, so that's a fourth string. But we're going to strike. We're going to only be playing on the first and second string. So we're going to go from 10 and 12, fourth string, to 9 and 10, pedal string. Then we're going to go just move this back a step to um, 7 and 8, back to 9 and 10, and then all the way back to uh, the first and second fret. So again, Then what we do is our G sixth, which we went over earlier. And we know that walk up. So that's the next part of the song. Then it, the um, second verse will come in and it's exactly the same up until the uh, D. Um, so I'll show you where it's different. So the second verse pretty much follows the first verse, except after you get to the chords that sound the G, D, B minor, E, and that take off. When we get to the D, it changes. So let me show you that part. Okay, and then, so what we're doing there when we go to the D, we're going to go up to the 3rd fret, 1st string, 5th fret, 2nd string, up to 5 and 7, and then back to our D. So, And then he goes into You Will Remember. So this is kind of the break. Okay, here's the break at speed, and then we'll break it down.